Hello everybody, Megazex here, the Volatile Gamer, and today I'm going to show you how to create a launch.bat file from scratch. So I had someone who tried to unzip the TechX server file, and for whatever reason the launch.bat uh, did not come out from that. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to open up a notepad, so you could press Windows key plus R to open up Run, and just type in notepad, or you could go any other way if you know how and now from here what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste the code I'm going to leave for you in the description so I'm actually going to open up my launch.bat here to get that code and I will put it in so this is what you do you would copy it and paste it into your notepad and then you're going to go to file save as and you have to do this drop down so where it says save as type you do the drop down select all files and then you can call it whatever you like just launch or you could call it run server just to show you that it doesn't matter run server dot bat now the dot bat is very very important so please include that and then you could save it so let me make sure this is saved in the right spot save okay so that adds it to my desktop which isn't the right spot but uh, here's my techic file or my techic server folder and uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and you can go ahead and put it right in there uh oh anyways you can put it in there and just to show you that it does work I'm gonna go ahead and click and it runs it up so this could work for other things but the only thing is like this could work for crack versions of your minecraft and uh, other things but it's important one thing that you're gonna need to know is where did I put that it's actually running this right here. So here it says tekka.jar, that's the file it's running. So for you, if you were trying to get a cracked version of your Minecraft running, you would have to switch that to whatever it is. So let's say it was called minecraft.jar, you would switch that to minecraft.jar. Um, but that I can make a specific video for if you want to know a little bit more about these things. This is just for your Tekkit server and the file that comes with that. So hopefully that was helpful. If it was, Go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and if you're still having issues, uh, feel free to comment. Now, one quick thing, if you are having issues with errors like uh, heap, not uh, too much heap size or not enough heap size, or, or Java not recognized, I do have a video, so here's an annotation, and I'll probably throw it in the middle of the video too, so go ahead and check that out. And uh, once again, this has been Magus X, the Volatile Gamer. Have a good day, and peace out.